So before we get started on this video, if you don't already know, we're actually doing a giveaway right now where you can win a set of any size, any finish Scorpion off-road wheels. So if you want to get automatically entered to win, you can come on out to the customoffsets.com website, scroll down, you'll see the big Scorpion banner, pick up one of these t-shirts and that automatically gets you entered to win. That's that, should we just open these up and get to Let's it? Let's do it. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. so like this. this is the uh, SC25 and a 22 by 14. Um, and keep in mind, none of us have actually seen any of these. I think Fuller's kind of peeked at some of the uh, product images on not. the boxes. I have not. Cheater. I, I like this one a lot, actually. This has a huge lip, and yeah. definitely part of that is because of the illusion of having a bigger lip than it does because there's no wall back here. So, do we go all the way to the ridge, to the back of the spoke? Yeah, let's go to the ridge. Okay. That's where I would measure. So, from the ridge, you have a nine and a quarter? Yep. Nine and a quarter lip on this thing. In front of the spoke, you still have a seven and three quarters? Yeah, seven and three quarters. Uh, inch lip, which is, on a 14 wide, pretty damn good. I mean, the fact that they don't have a ridge back there, so it looks like the lip just keeps going, is huge because it makes the lip look 14 inches wide, as wide as the wheel is. I do like how the spokes have like, I'm gonna say three different levels, because there's the big chunky back one, this tapering, this skinnier one, and then the final last piece that has the milling in it which is yeah, something that different. I haven't seen a wheel quite like this before, so it's cool that they're coming out with something a little more original. And then it is obviously twisted, so being a cast wheel, these are non-directional, so you have one side going one way, one way going the other, but I do like it. Yeah, I hope there's a chrome one in here somewhere, because I think this looks pretty good in chrome too, but I do like this, yeah. Different style design, I think, on the market. So since there's so many, we'll just move on to the next one and get through these quick. I love the like two-tone finish on it with the simulated beadlock. So SC27 and a 20 by nine is what we have in front of us here. It's like the rivet style, but there's no it's rivet. also like simulated beadlock, but there's no like bolt heads to it. So they kind of combine the two. And this all looks like it's just machining on the outside where some people have like an extra ridge. This is yeah. just machined. Um, it's kind of got a step lip as they call it in the car world, five spoke design. Super open between the spokes. I mean, cleaning this thing would be so easy. Oh, absolutely. And they, you know, and they probably went with this more open style too, because this is so much of like an off-road yeah, looking wheel that you don't have, you don't want to worry about, you know, having to like spend a whole lot of time cleaning these if you're just trying to get mud and dirt out of there. Yeah. So definitely could see this on some off-road builds, Jeeps. For too. sure. I, I like it for what it is. Definitely off-road looking wheel, off-road purpose type thing. Okay, so this is the SC23 and a 20 by 12. So another directional wheel. They're definitely going hard on the directional. I do like that it's exposed uh, cap. Yeah. In previous years, we haven't seen a lot of exposed stuff from Scorpion. Not at all. Which means they listened to us when we told them to do that. <laughs> because now you can run the spike lugs on there. Yeah. Which this would look good with chrome or black because it's got so much machining on this face. Yeah, there, there is a lot of machining. I don't know how big a fan I am of that. I like the accent machining and all that, not a huge fan of the whole face being machined. I like how they did do like the the step in, or I don't know what you call that. It's like cut in almost. Well, it's almost like reverse milling, right? So yeah. now the face is milled and this is, or machined, and this is milled in here, but it's painted black just like the rest of the wheel. This would definitely be something cool on like your two-tone trucks where, you know, they've got a lot of chrome and then black or whatever yeah. other color. And you can run this year round. So it looks chrome, but you can run it year round. Um, rivets around it like normal. Um, I like how Scorpion's kind of coming out with some more simple, clean designs, something mm -hmm. that like fits a lot more trucks and isn't um, stylized. They still, do have, they do still have their stylized like designs and stuff like that, but they're coming out with a lot more like simple stuff. You can run basically anything and it'll look good. Yeah. So. If they're continuing all the wheels that they've had in the past and adding these to it, they don't have a ton of different styles. Yeah, so kind of something smart. out there for everybody. Yep. Cool, I like it. Next. This, first thing I think of is it looks very similar to another wheel that we recently looked at. Yeah, there's a lot of companies that have this style. This one's a little fatter, so like the, the stem or whatever you want to call that there on this one's a lot wider. I don't know if it's the same in all of the styles. This one seems very off-road oriented. So yeah, very off-road inspired. I'm curious to see if like a 20 by 12 has the same like feel and style to it, because this, I feel like definitely 17 by nine, 18 by nine, 20 by nine. It looks very off-roady, but with them like, clean influence a lot of the show truck wheels so right which is kind of something that other people are doing too is just blending the two styles together i do like that they have the bolt heads rather than like the rivet style 
Um, other people are going to that too, and I think that's just, I like that look better. If you're gonna go for an off-road style wheel and you're gonna simulate a beadlock, you might as well do it with the bolt heads versus the rivets. And it's exposed lug again, just like the last one. Um, oh, by the way, this is the SC26 and the 20 by nine. Jump the gun on that mm -hmm. part. Oh, okay. So this is the same wheel that we saw before in yep. a different finish. SC23, this one's a 20 by 10 and it's a different finish. I like this a lot. Do you like the machine face or the black face better? I like the black face. So I agree. Four inch lip, which on a 10 wide is standard. It's yep. four inch, 10 wide, six inch, 12 wide. This milling is really deep and it, you couldn't notice it as much when it was black, but now that it's it is, the yeah. exposed material, it looks really deep and I do really like, like that. The size of like a, a number two pencil. Mm -hmm. It's like what it's would fit right there. In there. Yep. Um, yeah, I dig it. Directional wheel again, very similar to the other one. Gloss black Exposed finish. cap still. Yep, which is smart on their part. You can run spike lugs, chrome spike lugs, and this look perfect. Oh yeah, they would accent really well yeah. with that milling. I'm only doing this video because I wanted to use the knife. I, I'm aware, I and you it. broke it. Oh no. You literally broke it on camera. Don't tell Brad. I'm just gonna leave it open. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Whoa, okay. SC 25 and a 20 by nine, but it still looks like it has a big lip for a nine wide because of... Because it goes all the way back like that. Yeah, so same thing we talked about before. It's got the huge opening, no ridge. So it looks like the lip just keeps going back and for a nine wide wheel, that's pretty cool to see. Now I didn't notice it on the other one, maybe because of the finish, but see how this goes all the way back too? So it's almost yeah. like the spoke comes down and then really, really aggressively tapers back. So it looks like, you know, that could be your whole lip which is pretty neat. And then the oh, other thing I noticed, ridge? yeah, the other thing I noticed right away is that this doesn't have the milling inside this third level. The, right, it's just got like, it just bumped out and that's mm -hmm. it. I, I do like it in chrome. I wanna see this in like a big size, like yeah, a 22 absolutely. by 14 chrome. I think it'd look really good. Um, the cap is kind of busy on this one, I would say, um, compared to some of the other ones, how clean they are. But again, that's probably because they're thinking this is gonna be pretty hot. They're gonna have it um, in the double, the dual drilled options for your six uh, and five lugs. Um, other than that, I, I dig it a lot. Wow. Whoa. I like this one. All right, so this is the SC24 and a 22 by 12. Uh, I really like this. The styling is awesome. I love how these spokes come out and then dip back. So is it a directional wheel? I mean. Yeah, it would be. You can call it one. It's so busy that I don't think it is you technically. Really notice like, yeah. It. Cause like, if you count this as the spoke, it kind of angles this way. Mm -hmm. This could be the spoke and it still angles that way. This is like a kicker spoke then or whatever you want to call that. I mean, it is directional, but at the same time it's not. Yeah, it's got a lot going on as far as the spokes go, which makes it pretty busy, but I don't think it's overly busy. I do like the way it looks, you know, when you take a step back and look at the whole thing overall. Yeah, uh, covered center cap, kind of a big center cap. Um, I wish it was exposed lug, but I'm wondering if Scorpion did two batches of these where like they said some of their new ones come out with the covered center cap and then they went exposed. It's just interesting how some are and are. Because the exposed ones too are significantly smaller. Yeah, the cap overall like totally different, smaller. right? So I'm so. not sure what their reasoning was or if it's just certain styles and designs that flow better with it, but. I one, would have preferred this one to have a smooth. Clean lip. lip. Yep. Yeah, this isn't really like an off-road wheel. You wouldn't picture that on an off-road vehicle. So the rivets around it, if it was clean, it would look super clean. Because the cap isn't, busy necessarily. I mean, it's it's big, but it's simple, which is nice then if you had no rivets then too, but. And they did a good job like with their supplier for these caps because the this is plastic obviously, yep. but it matches the finish on the wheel like, yeah. almost spot on. So although it's big, it still works with it and it flows well. That's true. And the cap, I just noticed um, all the little bump outs follow the spokes. So mm -hmm. that's pretty neat. At least it doesn't look like it's an overly big cap that's just plopped on there. It actually has some thought into it following the spokes. So I wonder if the six lug has a different cap or if they use the same cap and it doesn't match up with the spokes. Oh! So this is the SC26 and a 20 by nine again. However, instead of a machined mm -hmm. uh, lip simulated beadlock, Scorpion calls this a matte black ring simulated beadlock around here with chrome rivets and then a matte gray finish and then matte black um, center cap as well, exposed lug. I really like this finish. Yeah, I love this finish. This is a cool color. You could, cause you could use this on like 
even colored trucks, I think. Like yeah. Even a, or like a red truck or something bright would look cool with something like this on it. And then obviously it works well with the typical black, gray, white that everybody has. I'm surprised we haven't seen any of the new finishes in their red, black with the red milling. Yeah. I wonder if they weren't as popular so they're not doing that anymore. Um, so this is just a different finish. I don't know if the new ones are just offering the gloss black, matte black, and um, chrome. And then this is kind of a new one they're trying out too, but this is, yeah, I like this finish a lot. It's different. Um, there's a couple companies that have stuff like this out there, but not many. So it's cool that they're getting into that market and trying something out there. It's matte, but there's almost like a slight metallic to it too. You I, see like just yeah, a little bit of flake. Yeah, when the light hits it, there's some flake to it. Yeah, that's kind of what I was looking at. And yeah, same as before, same size, everything. Easy to clean, off-road. This one you could do on like a show truck as well, I feel like if it was mm -hmm. in a bigger size. Mm -hmm. Just because the, the color, I don't know, I like it. Very cool. Cool, let's do our biggest and final one. Oh boy. So this is the same as the big chrome one we saw before, right? Yep, SC24, this one is a 22 by 14. This is huge, what's the lip That's on insane. this? That's insane. I don't know. And I would go all the way back to here. To the ridge? Okay, so let's go to the ridge first. Nine and a quarter? Almost nine and a half. Yeah. In front of the spokes, you're at seven and a half all day. It looks massive. It does really look huge. So the other one was all chrome, and I feel like that made it look busier, honestly, because there was yep. just so much of the same color. This one's got the milling to break it up, so it's a gloss black and milled. And it really does break it up, so you can see the kicker is like, separated from the main spokes here then you can see where the main spokes kind of follow through and it kind of goes around the whole window then not just like a side of it it follows the whole main spoke from one to the next this is more similar to the styles that we've seen from scorpion in the past i think this looks closer to some yeah. of their, their other wheels which obviously like they know what they're doing with those and I, I do really like this too i think i do prefer this finish over the chrome for some of the same reasons it looks a little more clean and less busy i do and like the chrome though too but right the milling is super nice on here too because it just gives it more depth to it yeah. and sets those front spokes away from the back ones. And again with this one, there's no ridge. Um, like a couple of the other designs they had, there's no ridge there. So I think if there was, it'd make the wheel look a lot busier too right. because all of these spokes would connect, but instead they kind of free float into the lip and then you can just see right through it then. So rivets again around it, covered cap, kind of like we touched on before, but I dig it. Cool. They got so some pretty cool new designs. Wraps them up for all yep. the new wheels. So that's a bunch of the new designs that Scorpion has sent us. I went over all of them with you guys. Nine wides, all the way up to 22 by 14s, chrome, gray, black and milled, basically everything that they've got new out there. They've also got a lot of older stuff from yet last year and years prior that's still pretty sexy that's on the market. So be sure to check them out all week. We're going to be bringing you Scorpion Week content. Make sure you guys pick up a t-shirt as well. Contest goes until the end of this month and we'll be picking a winner who's gonna win a free set of Scorpion off-road wheels. Make sure you like us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, drop a comment below if you have any other questions on these wheels or check out the links in the description for more info. Peace. Peace.